Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I'll be doing an unboxing of Corsair H90. So this is a 140 millimeters uh, single red and um, let's go over the box first. So first thing first, it does cover Intel and AMD. So what does it cover? Well, for sockets Intel, LGA 1155, 1157, 1366 and 2011 so are covered in Intel. For AMD, you got AM2, AM3, uh, FM1, and also it does support FM2, AM3+, Plus, so you'll be perfectly fine with those. Also, uh, there are some processor down here, which uh, we don't need to worry about it since the sockets are already been covered. Uh, also, they have a little performance uh, look down here where they uh, shows you based on uh, H90 and uh, Intel box cooler. I don't know why they do that. Uh, also, you have a uh, noise at 100% load. So according to the Corsair, it's supposed to be 35 decibels versus the Intel stock cooler would be um, 39 plus dBA decibels. All right. So in terms of uh, the height and everything goes, you got 140 basically. So as long as you got 140 fan mount, you should be okay. Uh, the fan speed is 1500 RPM plus or minus 10%. Uh, it, the airflow is 94 CFM. All right, so those are the key functions right there. It does include with one fan. So let's go ahead and take the handy dandy knife and let's unbox. All right. Really nice box. It's a little bit different box than uh, than what you might see from uh, from H80i or H100i or H100i, or H100, sorry. Um, so it's a little bit different design with this kind of silver uh, box. But overall, it's a nice, nice box. Don't really care about the box overall. Um, the one thing I do want to mention first is this thing does have five years warranty by Corsair, so you should be perfectly fine. All right, let's go ahead and take it out of the box. So you got box within a box. All right, so let's keep the box on the side. So you got a manual, the installation guide. So it's a really nice installation guide. It's gonna explain to you everything you need to know about and how everything is gonna be configured. So you should be okay. All right, you also have a little warranty um, details here as well. So we'll keep that on the side right now. And let's take a look at the fan first. So again, this is being 140, it's gonna be quite a big fan. Of course, 140 millimeter fans, right? So let's go ahead and take that out. And they did change the fan design a bit. Uh, unlike H, uh, H80i or H100i, they were more similar to SP fans, but they were a little bit louder. Um, according to Corsair, they should be a little bit quieter. And this is a PWM fan, so you have four pin here. So you should be able to control that based on your uh, motherboard. And of course, 140 millimeter fan. So nothing special about it. This is, it comes with only one fan and that's about it. So let's put that on the side and let's take a look at the radiator itself first, shall we? Before we do that, actually, let's go over. Uh, these are all the installation. I'm not gonna open it or anything like that. But these are all the the brackets and all those kind of stuff, screws and everything for your Intel or AMD um, processors. So let's keep that on the side, and let's open this baby up. All right. So as you can see, a nice. 140 millimeters radiator. It's got really dense material. Uh, definitely not not the thicker radiator style, but they use the regular slim side. So it should be uh, compatible with most of the uh, cases that ha that offers 140 millimeter fans. So that's right there on the top. You got a little tank, and on the bottom you got a tank right there. Let's take out a little plastic bag. And it just looks awesome. So uh, 
rubberized tubes, so these are really flexible, um, much nicer tubes. Of course, you got the pump with the Corsair logo right there. The Corsair logo doesn't glow or anything like that, so it's a regular Corsair, um, just plain, nice and plain looking one. You don't have any USB connection or anything like that in order to monitor uh, the temperatures and stuff like that. So, no more cables, less cables, one three pin header for your pump and uh, let's take a look at the radiator itself so as you can see it's got really dense uh, radiator here so it's gonna it's gonna give you more surface area for more cooling and uh, I think Corsair did really good job on this one so we'll find out I'm using this for my AMD 8320 CPU and we'll find out how it performs so uh, alright thank you for watching and uh, if you like the video please like the video if you dislike the video dislike the video and if you have any questions or any comments just feel free to comment down below and thank you for watching